metallurgists spend most of their time working in laboratories. Uh, metallurgists are just like bakers, you know. They work with ingredients, and in our case, the ingredients are metallic materials, and then we blend them, and then we take them into an oven, we bake them, and eventually end up with a product, a final product. And in our case, the final product is a solid material. The project I'm currently working on is alloy development, and alloy development, we take metallic powders as our starting materials and then we blend them, we press them so that they become like a solid pressed uh, powder. And then from there we take it for melting whereby we uh, melt it and then allow it to solidify into a solid product and from there we take it to a metallographic lab whereby we start grinding and polishing our product so that it becomes mirror-like, like the surface becomes mirror-like, and then from there we look into the structure, like the surface, using a microscope, and find out that if the features that appear are exactly what we want or are exactly what would be beneficial during application. So these products are normally used in you know, biomedical applications. Uh, for example, we use them as implants to replace or substitute broken or damaged bones, either in old or younger people. Skills needed uh, for one to be successful in this career involves uh, you know, technical skills, for example, being able to analyze the materials that one is working on, uh, being able to do you know, failure analysis, being able to do the casting, you know, being able to work with powders and the soft skills involve uh, good communication skills, interpersonal uh, skills, uh, analytical thinking, problem solving, it's quite a number of them. The future of metallurgy is the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, that is uh, the design of products using computers and the automation of process improvement or optimization. So for when it comes to the design of uh, products using computer, we normally think of simulation because it makes it easier for us to just have products available and ready for use without having to go through uh, performance of many trials in laboratories. And then the three-dimensional three printing involves uh, getting products directly from uh, powders, metallic powders as starting materials. Okay, what excites me about my career is the fact that uh, it offers quite a number of opportunities. For example, I can work in a foundry where metal products are produced through a process called casting. So casting involves melting and solidifying uh, materials. I can also work in a research institution as a researcher. I can also work uh, at a university as a lecturer, whereby I, had, I get to work with students, engage with them, take them through uh, different kinds of you know, experimental uh, work. You know, that, that, that's actually the most exciting part about it.